we saw that the uh, Syracuse is final now, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, uh, do you celebrate something like this uh, when you when you? Well, yeah, yeah. It's certainly, it's been a, a tough uh, last month here, and um, you know, we certainly. I don't think the score indicated how we played tonight. It was uh, there was a lot of things we need to be better at moving forward, uh, knowing that the games are are not going to be that uh, loose. I guess we took advantage of of uh, a team that uh, made some big mistakes, but at the end of the day, you still got to score those goals, and um, we got the job done, and and. Um, uh, we're happy we're in now. We now we got to uh, focus on playing um, Rochester here back to back games, um, which is kind of good because you got you know they're playing better and you got a team that you know you prepare for one night after the other. So it's a it's a similar playoff scenario that way, um, and we got to make sure we're 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 fine tuning our game and playing the right way. With this wrapped up, do you think about trying to spread the lineup out? Maybe. Oh, no question, days? no question. Uh, especially with the travel, uh, you know, it's a three three hour trip, so you're going to get in late. But we're we're going to, uh, you know, it gives us an opportunity maybe to look at a kid like Jignac here, who who's here too. So it gives us a little bit of breathing room. But um, you know, we do got some guys that are that are banged up a little bit, and uh, we can give them a rest, not bring them on the trip, and and have the option to have fresh legs, lots of fresh legs on Saturday, or maybe. Get Give the guys uh, the weekend off and, and get ready for round one. You know how long? Go ahead. You know how long Pelly's going to be out? Uh, no. Uh, I, I definitely now we'll probably shut him down for the weekend for sure. Uh, but knowing him, it's it's uh, it's one of those things that come Saturday if we needed him to play, he probably could. Uh, but under these circumstances, we'll probably you know we give him a full uh, you know close to ten days now uh, I, if we start on Friday uh, next week to to heal up. Your other scratches, uh, who was hurt? Uh, Sexton Kujawinski. Uh. Sexton Kujawinski, uh, Louv is, is still out. Uh, went on the ice today for the first time. Sexton, uh, a possibility, a very good possibility. He's got a doctor's appointment Thursday. Very good possibility for uh, we'll leave him here for Saturday, which would uh, be real good news for everybody. Knowing that this is the last go around here in Albany, how special is it that you guys are going to the playoffs with a chance to maybe cap this off the right way? Yeah, you know, that's uh, we had our season ticket holder thing uh, event last night, and you know that was kind of what we were. I conveyed to them that that we we want to keep and extend this season certainly as long as as we can, and I think if. Uh, you know, we, we, we get through this weekend and, and like I said, with the additions and kind of get guys back and get some chemistry going, we got we got a team that can make a run. But, uh, you know, you said there was a thing, play got kind of loose the second half of the game, but I thought Rooney's uh, goal and just that, that penalty killing shift was just like vital to kind of getting the momentum back. In yeah, it, it was. And, he, you know, he's, he's really one of those guys that's elevated his game. You know, you wish he could score more, but he's – He's uh, certainly around the chances, and um, you know he, he's a guy that does play the game the right way. To be honest with you, I thought he was our best forward tonight, maybe our best player on the ice, and uh, that's why I played him as much as I did, even though we did get into penalty trouble. But uh, you know he had a big shorthanded goal in in Syracuse the other night to tie it up. So um, you know he's playing uh, you know his best hockey at the right time of year, and and glad to see he gets rewarded for his work. And and like you said, that certainly was a big play or a big point in the game. That kind of change things. Nice to have some uh, the power play options you have right now for the first time in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it has been a long time. You know, I got to go back to the beginning of the year, really, where we had two solid units, and that's not to take anything away. You know, as a coach, you decide, you know, try to think, you just load one up, and then, you know, Mozik's kind of always been on that second unit, but has done a pretty good job there because he's. He's got the big shot, but um, you know now you, we have some options. Uh, good net front presence on on both units with right now with Wood and and Lappin, and this is all subject to change. But uh, you know Blandizi gives you an element of a of a playmaker and and can get more pucks uh, to Mozik on the second unit. But Joe can also potentially be a, a net front guy on, on the other unit. So, um, you know, as that's certainly the specialty teams uh, side of things. We're, we're certainly a plus tonight, knowing that uh, the, the, the uh, penalty kill not only did a good job, but created some energy. And like you said, momentum scored a goal, and then the, the power play capitalized on chances.